safeguard. Alright, yo, what's going on guys? Jake Daddy here, and today I thought I'd just bring you a short little video. Just something I've been seeing on Twitter, something it's been sort of all over the Black Ops 3 sniping, trick shotting. Well, not really trick shotting, but sort of all over the sniping community, all over Twitter. And it's a debate of safeguard. I know you guys have probably got your own opinions on whether you should play safeguard or not, and honestly, it's personal preference. Like, if you don't want to play safeguard because you feel like it's too easy, don't play safe. Do what you want to do on your videos. If you do want to play safeguard, do it. Like, honestly, People say that safeguard is so easy for clips, oh they're all like, it's demolition spawns. But the thing is, with safeguard, the people that play safeguard are the sweatiest little nipples. And that was a fucking beautiful shot, I'm going to be honest there. But they're the sweatiest little kids, like, they proper, like, play to win. Like, they don't play to be spawn trapped, they're not like the shit kids that just get on casual. To be honest, all, like, the casual Call of Duty players all play uh, Team Deathmatch. And that's where snipers seem to think that that's the best game mode to play, because it's, like... The spawns aren't too easy and it's a little bit challenging. But all the people that are brand new to Call of Duty, they play Team Deathmatch. Well, the majority of the time, anyway. I don't want to say, like, strictly every single time that you go into Team Deathmatch, you get the easy kids. Because you don't. In reality, you really don't. The point I'm trying to make with the whole Deathmatch, you get the newbie players. In Safeguard, you don't, if someone doesn't get on Black Ops and think, you know what, the first thing I'm ever going to play on this game is we're going to have to Safeguard. Because it's just not a thing you do, because it's like a brand new game mode. It's sort of, like, unfamiliar to the new players, um, for those that didn't really play the beta that is, and if they're picking up COD for like the first time, play, pick up Black Ops 3 for the first time, they're not going to hop into a game mode they're unfamiliar with. They're going to play a game mode that's purely based on kills, and not really play the objective, just because that's just how you play the game. She just wiped her forehead of sweat, oh, I'm assuming. She just wiped her forehead, but she's got a hoodie up, so she just wiped her hand across her hoodie. Like, what is that actually accomplishing in reality? And that's another definitive point of this whole safeguard argument. A lot of the people that actually hit safeguard clips, they don't strictly go into the safeguard game mode. Because a lot of the people do come into Grand War, and a lot of times when you see people having uh, safeguard clips in like a montage or just single upload, it's it's not in 6 versus 6 because a lot of people do play Grand War just because it's a lot faster place, there's a lot more people to kill. And honestly, in like 6v6 game modes on this, on this game in particular, I really find it quite difficult. Oh my god, there's two RC cars. But yeah, as I was saying, a lot of people do just come into Grand War just because there's a lot more people to kill and it's a lot faster paced, a lot more enjoyable. And to be honest, there's just a general more chance of hitting a clip when there are more people on the map. Just, it's logical, really. Then people can't really help the fact that Safeguard gets voted for. I mean, if there's 18 people in the lobby and you're solo queue, you haven't really got too much of a definitive argument against not playing Safeguard because there's 17 other people that could vote for it. And what is the expectation that as soon as you get safeguard, you just back out of the lobby and just don't play it? Because if that is the case, that is honestly just ridiculous. And to be fair, if the game had been out for like a year or so, and it was like the second year, like Black Ops 2 was, and everyone was still just playing 6 versus 6 uh, safeguard and hitting like 6 on every single day, then fair enough, because it, it has got a little bit pointless at that point. Because there is no challenge there. If you're hitting a 6 on every single day in safeguard, fair enough. Try and make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. But considering the game has been out, what, three weeks? Two, two and a half weeks or so and you're honestly already complaining about what game mode people hitting clips in it's honestly quite humorous the fact that the ISIS are going around and releasing bomb threats and bombing places around the world but because FaZe Bobby fucking Joe has said we can't play safeguard the sniper community fucking all freaks out about that rather than the actual problems in the world like if you honestly think that people playing safeguard is a fucking problem considering what's going on in the world right now. There's something like, honestly wrong. <laughs> like, does it actually affect you? Like, does it actually get to you? And if the answer is yes, and it does actually affect you, that was a fucking nice collapse. But you've really got to reconsider like, your priorities in your life because it's, it's honestly mind blowing that people actually care that much. But honestly guys, if you prefer playing safeguard, play safeguard, like, does it really matter? Honestly, because there's no point of going for clips and like proper sweating your ass out and getting nowhere and getting pissed off and starting to hate the game because you've got to play like these certain game modes that are like quote unquote respectable in the community when you can just go into safeguard, have a good time, play with a couple of friends and enjoy yourself. Like, surely that's the priority rather than getting the respect of an individual on fucking Twitter. Like, does it really matter? Like, I know my opinion counts for absolutely fuck all in this community and. To be honest, the people judging you for playing safeguard, their opinion doesn't fucking matter either. Like, yeah, I know you can spawn trap in safeguard, and it is sort of like fixed spawns, and you can't really flip spawns or anything. But just don't use clips that are just that are just hard scoping into a spawn. 
Use clips where you've like moved around, you've flanked them maybe, you've hit a couple of nice shots and you've no scope the fourth or something like that. It's just use clips that are entertaining to watch. Don't worry about what game mode you're playing or how many kills you've got on the kill feed or how on split it is because that's another thing. It's still an issue if you get a split quad feed. It's not usable. It's like, really? Like, could you imagine hitting like five no scopes across the map and it was split by two and it was like kill, split, kill, kill, split, kill, kill. And people are like, oh no, you can't use that, it's split. Because someone else in the lobby has got a kill in between you getting your kills, you're no longer allowed to use that clip. Like, that's honestly just ridiculous. The rules and regulations we have for sniping clips is honestly ridiculous. It's beyond a joke, and it's going to get to the point where no one can hit clips, no one enjoys the game, so I've got to play these shitty fucking game modes that are just repetitive and boring. But honestly, the moral of the video, play whatever the fuck you want. With, even if you're playing a different COD, like, go back to the old CODs if you prefer them. If you don't enjoy Black Ops 3, don't play Black Ops 3. Don't force yourself to play something you don't want because, like, honestly, I've had a couple of days where I've just gone and played Ghost for a couple of hours and it's just been enjoyable. It's been refreshing. I come back to Black Ops 3, enjoyed it a little bit more than I was before. And there's no problem with that. There's no problem with doing that. And it should be the same with the game mode. Just play whatever game mode you want, play whatever game you want, use whatever clips you want. If, if you think a clip is cool, you get three kills or you, like, you get a collateral and then you no scope the fourth or so. Or if you get, like, a nice collateral, like a movement collateral, like the one I got earlier in this, and then you get a no scope for the third, use it. If you enjoy that clip, use it because the thing is with YouTube and the whole clip based YouTube just entertainment on YouTube everything's been done before and everyone uploads fucking five on screens and just generic clips like that whereas if you show like just cool little clips and just sort of show off like some of the nice shots you pulled up it might go a long way people might start thinking you know what? this is actually a really entertaining video and you might grow off that you, you might get somewhere because of that and honestly I've just fucking I've rambled on now, and at this point, I'm just going to end the video because, as I say, I have rambled quite a bit. Um, not really sure how long this video is going to be, but either way, I hope you did enjoy it. And if you watched up to this point, I'd really appreciate you dropping a like, uh, maybe dropping a sub if you want to see more of those. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. One of that. Shots. <laughs>